My name is Elise Tro. I'm an independent artist. I am a singer, songwriter, multi instrumentalist as well, and I would categorize my music as pop with some alternative and jazz elements. I was first inspired to play music when I heard the song My Immortal by Evanescence. And uh, if you know that song, there's a little piano riff in the beginning. And I remember hearing that for the first time when I was five or six. And I asked my mom, I'm like, hey, what's that instrument in there? She's like, oh, it's a piano. And so I started, you know, asking my parents to uh, let me take piano lessons. And that's kind of how I got my start in music. I've always loved how visual a keyboard is. And also um, with drums being my primary instrument now. Um, there's something so rhythmic about hitting the keys. It's, I always think of it kind of like drumming just with your fingers. One of my favorite women in the music industry that I've been following for a while is Yukimi Nagano. Uh, she's part of Little Dragon and she's also done a couple other projects and collaborations with other artists. She's a singer-songwriter and something I really love about her is uh, no matter if it's her own project or a project that she's you know, collaborating on, I feel like her artistry really comes through in her singing and her songwriting. When I started playing drums, someone that really inspired me was Maytel Cohen. And um, I was probably 10 at the time, and my uncle showed me some of her videos on YouTube. And I remember thinking like, oh, she's so cool, she's so talented, and uh, she's someone that really inspired me to specifically start posting content online and videos. Um, and just, you know, seeing uh, someone, specifically a woman doing that also, uh, was really inspiring for me. A woman whose career has really inspired me is Michelle Ndegiacello. She's one of my favorite artists. Um, something I really love about her career is how each project she works on is a pretty distinctly different genre. Um, she kind of started in soul and then she has some kind of more jazzy type stuff, some I'd say like singer-songwriter stuff, some rock stuff. and. It, to me, it's really cool to see someone explore genres so freely and um, do it in such a way that each project is so distinct sounding, but also uh, so her. I've definitely had experiences as a female musician where I feel I'm being treated differently because of my gender. Um, and I don't know, interestingly, I, I think at times, obviously there's you know some sexism and like negative responses. And then there's also kind of the opposite reaction. Uh, some people are, are very supportive um, or maybe even extra because they recognize that it's so male dominated. And I, I think like uh, for a long time, I've always kind of wanted to just be seen uh, as a musician first. And I think just like being a woman in music, a lot of people will see you as a woman and then a musician, you know, it's kind of like a lens almost that they're looking through. But it's, it's nice though to connect with other women through music. I think to any woman who is just starting out in the music industry, I would tell them that it's important to stick with what you really believe in. And I guess I, I would also say that to anyone, uh, regardless of gender, starting in the industry. But I do think women particularly, you know, you know, the people around them might doubt them or kind of uh, not take them as seriously, so I think it's especially important for women to really uh, feel solid in their own beliefs about themselves and their work. When I'm choosing the gear that I use in my setup, I'm always thinking about how each instrument is going to be incorporated um, in the bigger picture of my music. And so obviously each piece of equipment that I choose um, really impacts how the entire setup is going to work, especially in a live setting when I'm doing looping. Uh, something I really love about the Vox Continental is how lightweight it is. Um, previously, I was using uh, a keyboard that I also really loved, but it was pretty heavy. And so going on the road, having a lighter keyboard that I can still get the same sounds that I love on um, is something I really love about it. I love the waterfall action. And I also like how there's some preset sounds, but you're also able to kind of affect those sounds and get exactly what you're looking for. One thing I've been involved in that I hope um, women in music find inspiring is my collaboration with Fader on my custom drumsticks. Uh, we created a stick that I would have really loved to have when I was a little girl. So hopefully girls or women that are starting to play drums or just getting into music look at it and feel inspired by it. Recently I collaborated with the producer Coil on my EP Losing Sleep, which is out now. The Losing Sleep Tour kicks off in March and that goes through April and that's all in the U.S. and then I have a few other potential dates later in the year.